Hi guys, hallo Leute, welcome back to German with Jenny. Today I want to talk to you about four mistakes that drive me absolutely insane. Heute möchte ich mit euch über vier Fehler sprechen, die mich in den Wahnsinn treiben. Los geht's! Now before getting started, I just want to tell you that I don't mean to offend anyone, I don't mean to make fun of anyone. You know, I know it's very, very difficult to learn a foreign language. I've learned a couple of foreign languages myself and I often make a lot of stupid mistakes. So, um, you know, don't feel offended. I just want to have a little bit of fun. Der erste Fehler, the first mistake. Ich bin lernen Deutsch. I'm learning German. Ich bin lernen Deutsch. Ah! Ich möchte meine Haare ausreißen, wenn ich das lese oder höre. I want to rip out my hair when I hear or read that. Ich möchte meine Haare ausreißen, wenn ich das höre oder lese. Das ist falsch. Falsch, 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 falsch. Okay? It's wrong. We don't have the present progressive tense in German. You cannot say, I am learning, I am studying, I am going, I am walking, I'm driving. You cannot say that in German, okay? We don't have that tense. So what you do is, you just use the present simple. Ich fahre, ich schreibe, ich lerne, ich gehe, ich laufe, etc. Okay, very easy. So if you want to say, I am studying German, you have to say, ich lerne Deutsch. Ich lerne Deutsch. Super simple. Please don't ever make that mistake again. Please. Bitte, 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 bitte. Der zweite Fehler. The second mistake. Der zweite Fehler. Am Montag, ich gehe zum Arzt. On Monday, I'm going to the doctors. Am Montag, ich gehe zum Arzt. Ah, nein, 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 nein. Das ist falsch. That's wrong. Das ist falsch. In German, in a main clause, you have to place the verb in the second position. That doesn't mean it's going to be the second word. It has to be in the second position, okay? So we have the time indication am Montag, okay? Time indication. Then we have the verb gehe. Then we have the subject, in this case, ich. And then zum Arzt. Am Montag gehe ich zum Arzt. So don't ever, ever say... Am Montag, ich gehe zum Arzt. Okay? Das macht mich wahnsinnig. Ich hasse diesen Fehler. Alternatively, you can say, ich gehe am Montag zum Arzt. So you see that am Montag, the time indication is in the third position in the sentence. Der dritte Fehler. Wenn ich Hunger habe, bin ich schlecht gelaunt. When I'm hungry, I'm in a bad mood. Nein, 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 nein. Falsch, falsch, falsch. You don't say, wenn ich Hunger habe. You have to conjugate the verb haben. Wenn ich Hunger habe. You have to conjugate it. You cannot use the infinitive here. I think I know why some of you make this mistake. It's because the verb has to be at the end of the class, so we kind of tend to forget about the verb, and we think about everything else that we want to say. And then we're like, oh yeah, I remember that I have to put the verb at the end of the class, so I'll just put it there. And you forget that you have to conjugate the verb. Der vierte Fehler. The fourth mistake. Der vierte Fehler. Wenn ich Zeit habe, ich gehe ins Fitnessstudio. When I have time, I go to the gym. Uh, nein. Das hört sich ganz, ganz schrecklich an. Wenn ich Zeit habe, gehe ich ins Fitnessstudio. Wenn ich Zeit habe, gehe ich ins Fitnessstudio. Okay? We have a subordinate clause. Wenn ich Zeit habe. And then we have the main clause. However... If you have the subordinate clause first, then you have to put the verb in the main clause first in that clause, okay? So you have to say, wenn ich Zeit habe, gehe ich ins Fitnessstudio. If you put the main clause first, you say, ich gehe ins Fitnessstudio, wenn ich Zeit habe. So you tend to think, okay, if I just inverse them and I have the subordinate clause first, the structure doesn't change. But yes, it does change. If the subordinate clause comes first, Then you have to put the verb in the main clause first, right after the comma. Wenn ich Zeit habe, gehe ich ins Fitnessstudio. So, ich hoffe, das Video hat euch gefallen. Vielen Dank, dass ihr heute dabei wart. Vergesst nicht, bei germanwithjenny.com vorbeizuschauen. Wir sehen uns beim nächsten Mal. Tschüss!